So for this video I will present you ataxia, uh, which is a part of our uh, chromatic modules. Um, and ataxia is the envelope or modulator generator. Um, what you can do with ataxia? You can have a, a dual ADSR, you can have a function generator or modulator, and you can have LFO. Um, you have two channels, uh, and you change channels through a button here, which I'll demonstrate later. And to start on, I will uh, set up a very basic sound engine. I will send a pitch from Maturia key step to Hysteria. Then the output of Hysteria will go to the input of Eudemonia, which is a filter and a VCA and a mixer and other stuff. And then I will just get out the sound directly out from there. You can use a taxa without any kind of trigger, but you will only have LFO in that case. I will show that right now. So if I want to make a taxi an LFO, I'll just press this button which says LFO. And I'm on LFO mode. And here on the sliders you have three rows of uh, descriptions, which is the mode row and shows rise, fall, hold, the LFO row, which is rise, fall, and delay, which is delay time, that's what delay stands for, for the LFO, and then you have ADSR, which is on the, for the ADSR mode, and I will just start by sending the output of, the, of ataxia to the CV input of hysteria. Now, this is a very high rate, you have around 500 Hz of LFO. While on usual uh, LFO modules you expect w when you raise uh, a slider or a control to get a, a faster delay time, uh, LFO uh, rate, here works the other way because this LFO is actually a looped modulator. So as you raise the rise and fall time, you get longer uh, modulation times. And you can shape it that way in a show tooth, reverse show or triangle. And you also have uh, a wave form here. You go from triangle so to linear LFO to logarithmic to exponential. And now you also have the delay time, which unless I start liking the trigger input, it will not work. When I have zero delay time, this is the LFO reset. If I start adding delay, each time I press the key, There you go. You get this fade in. Let me make this more musical. Very long delay 
times. Let's take now the modulator mode. I press the button again and I'm on modulator mode, which is rise, fall, hold, and it's hold time. It's not hold level, it's time and curve. Uh, modulator works only as a trigger. It doesn't have, it doesn't care about gate length. It doesn't care about anything. It starts and it won't start again what, whatever you do, if the whole circle is not finished. So, I would better send this to the LFO. If you're on the rising, there you go. And now let's take hold. Hold is a little bit more strange because it's a, it's a whole time. It just stays up for the time set for on the hold. So let me set a, an arpeggio. up to 30 seconds which is forever part of the video I'll show you how to use the second channel and the ADSR. We've seen what we can do with a, with a single channel. Now let's try to use a second channel. So I have an arpeggio playing and triggering the first channel of the modulator. If I remove the trigger and use my trusted Utopia to make a um, Splitter. I will send the trigger to the mixer and then one output goes to the first trigger and the second to the second trigger. So now I can trigger both channels with one out, uh, trigger input. To change channel I just press down this. And now the controls affect the second channel while the first channel stays in the last state. So I will send the second channel to control, let's say, the VCA. When you first enter the second channel, everything is like on that state. So you have to start adding it. On VCAs it's the, the exponential curve it works much, much better in general 
or something in between the linear and exponential. There you go. And you can do whatever you like with that channel. You can have it as an LFO. And then you can just change back to the first channel, change again, and then do that thing, sweep all the time. Now let's enter the ADSR mode. To do that, I just pressed both buttons together. And now I'm on this ADSR mode, which now have ADSR controls for both modulators. And I only need one trigger, because on this mode, both ADSRs are uh, triggered either by trigger 1 or trigger 2. So, still I have the first channel on the VCF and the second channel on the VCA. And I got to stage the curve here with the LFO button. The first stage is like having the curve all the way down, then it's linear, and then it's exponential. For the second channel, I will now use exponential because I much like it much better for VCAs. And for the first channel, I have logarithmic. And it goes like this. You also have some civic controls here, time and level for each channel. Time control, civic control will affect the whole, um, the whole, let's say, uh, time uh, of every control at this uh, uh, synchronized. Let's send the LFO there. It affects everything from attack, decay, sustain, everything. Well, level will set your level to zero unless you're sending voltage. It expects zero to 10 volts. So you can use that as a velocity input. I will just use my Arturia Keystep mod wheel to demonstrate this. There you go. like I did here, you can send the LFO. And this was a taxia. Everything needs in a very small 10 HP module. Very useful, very uh, handy for modulating like filters and VCAs.